By three methods we may learn wisdom, first, by reflection, which is noblest, second, by imitation, which is easiest, and third, by experience, which is the bitterest. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute, the man who does not ask is a fool for life. When you see a good person, think of becoming like her slash him. When you see someone not so good, reflect on your own weak points. What the superior man seeks is in himself, what the small man seeks is in others. The hardest thing of all is to find a black cat in a dark room, especially if there is no cat. Give a bowl of rice to a man and you will feed him for a day. Teach him how to grow his own rice and you will save his life. To put the world in order, we must first put the nation in order. To put the nation in order, we must first put the family in order. To put the family in order, we must first cultivate our personal life. We must first set our hearts right. In a country well governed, Poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. The master said, a true gentleman is one who has set his heart upon the way. A fellow who is ashamed merely of shabby clothing or modest meals is not even worth conversing with. If there is righteousness in the heart, there will be beauty in the character. If there is beauty in the character, there will be harmony in the home. If there is harmony in the home, there will be order in the nations. When there is order in the nations, there will peace in the world. No lake so still, but it has its wave. No circle so perfect, but that it has its blur. I would change things for you if I could, as I can't you must take them as they are. The way of the superior person is threefold, virtuous, they are free from anxieties, wise they are free from perplexities, and bold they are free from fear. The superior man, when resting in safety, does not forget that danger may come. When in a state of security he does not forget the possibility of ruin. When all is orderly, he does not forget that disorder may come. Thus his person is not endangered and his states and all their clans are preserved. To be able under all circumstances to practice five things constitutes perfect virtue. These five things are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. Lead the people with administrative injunctions and put them in their place with penal law, and they will avoid punishments but will be without a sense of shame. Lead them with excellence and put them in their place through roles and ritual practices, and in addition to developing a sense of shame, they will order themselves harmoniously. A man of humanity is one who, in seeking to establish himself, finds a foothold for others and who, in desiring attaining himself, helps others to attain. When a person should be spoken with, and you don't speak with them, you lose them. When a person shouldn't be spoken with and you speak to them, you waste your breath. The wise do not lose people, nor do they waste their breath. If there were an honorable way to get rich, I'd do it, even if it meant being a stooge standing around with a whip. But there isn't an honorable way, so I just do what I like. Not to discuss with a man worthy of conversation is to waste the man. To discuss with a man not worthy of conversation is to waste words. 
the wise waste neither men nor words. For this reason the gentleman will employ a man on a distant mission and observe his degree of loyalty, will employ him close at hand and observe his degree of respect. He will hand him troublesome affairs and observe how well he manages them, will suddenly ask his advice and observe how wisely he answers. He will exact some difficult promise from him and see how well he keeps it, turn over funds to him and see with what benevolence he dispenses them, inform him of the danger he is in and note how faithful he is to his duties. He will get him drunk with wine and observe how well he handles himself, place him in mixed company and see what effect beauty has upon him. By applying these nine tests, you may determine who is the unworthy man. Sekong asked, is there one word with which to act in accordance throughout a lifetime? The master said, is not reciprocity such a word? What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. Coarse rice to eat, water to drink, my bended arm for a pillow, therein is happiness. Wealth and rank attained through immoral means are nothing but drifting clouds. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Things have their roots and branches. Affairs have their beginnings and their ends. To know what is first and what is last will lead one near the way. A youth is to be regarded with respect. How do we know that his future will not be equal to our present? If he reached the age of 40 or 50 and has not made himself heard of, then indeed he will not be worth being regarded with respect. To study and constantly, is this not a pleasure? To have friends come from far away places, is this not a joy? If people do not recognize your worth, but this does not worry you, are you not a true gentleman? The master said to study and then in a timely fashion to practice what you have learned, is this not satisfying? To have companions arrive from afar, is this not a joy? To remain unrecognized by others and yet remain free of resentment, is this not the mark of the gentleman?